world where it may seem like wireless speakers dominate, there are still plenty of folks looking for a good quality hardwired home theater system. Monitor Audio is a British company specializing in speakers, and I recently got my hands on some of theirs to test out and review in my home. I'm Aaron for Best Buy Canada's blog, and over here I've got the Monitor MRW 10 powered subwoofer, the Monitor 50 small bookshelf speakers, and the slightly larger Monitor 100s. I'm going to take a look at what each of them can do and how they all work together for your home theater. These speakers are really cool looking. You might not know it with the covers on, but pull them off and take in the tangerine view. These look really fun. To get things set up, you likely know what to do already. Connect them to your amp or receiver. In my case, the Onkyo TX NR686 7.2 channel network AV receiver. Take care to make good connections from speaker to amp. The subwoofer needs AC power and an RCA cable. You can also use a dedicated subwoofer cable, but since those are twice the price of an RCA, I decided to save the bucks for some new music. Now let's dig in on each one of these. The MRW10 powered subwoofer gives you bass down to below 30 hertz and offers a more immersive movie, music, or gaming experience thanks to those thunderous vibrations. The MRW10 has an MDF built cabinet and it houses a 10 inch long throw MMP2 bass driver and a rear port that allows optimal output from the powerful onboard 100 watt Class D power amplifier. You've got a couple different settings that you can tweak and they're found here on the back of the sub. There are three preset bass modes labeled music, movie and impact to get a customized sound. If you've got a more complex setup than I do in the test kitchen, there's also the option to use the 12 volt trigger, which will give you switching control over your AV amp, processor, or home automation control system. The compact Monitor 50 speakers are dubbed bookshelf speakers, and indeed they're small enough for that application if that's what you want. Monitor says these speakers deliver a surprisingly powerful performance for such small speakers, and I can say I definitely agree with that. Now, while these are probably not going to wow those of you with giant tower speakers and soundproofed walls, these are definitely going to be more than enough power for the average consumer. The speakers are perfectly square, and the cabinets hold the 5.5 inch MMP drivers and 25 millimeter black CCAM tweeters. Somewhat unusually, the tweeters are placed in the top corner of the speakers, and in doing that, Monitor says they were able to scale down the size. Does it look crooked? Maybe, but I think it looks great, and if it bugs you, put the covers back on. With a single set of gold-plated binding posts to connect them to your amp, plus 70 watts of power behind them, they should be all you need in a compact bookshelf speaker. Moving up the line to the Monitor 100s, you're going to get a few additional features. These are a bit larger than the 50s and have 100 watts of power, plus a 6.5 inch MMP2 bass driver and a 25 millimeter black CCAM tweeter. With a larger bass driver and the bigger cabinet, expect the 100s to deliver a more expansive sound. I did notice an obvious difference in power and output, so depending on your own requirements for space and how much power you want, you're going to have a choice to make. Another difference? In the rear of the 100s, two sets of binding post terminals on each speaker allow for bi-wiring or bi-amp setup. Both these sizes of speakers are ideal for small to medium-sized home theaters. They're also going to be great for people in a communal living situation, an apartment or a condo where rattling the walls and vibrating the floor is probably going to get you into some trouble. These are also definitely for people with an eye to design thanks to that really cool looking tangerine cone. Whether you're watching TV or listening to music, these speakers sound really good. Like I say, they're not going to blow the doors off your media room, but then again, that's not what they're made for. These sound good with clear dialogue, resonant bass, highs with no hiss or distortion or tinniness, and overall a rich, resonant sound. This was my first time trying out anything by Monitor Home Theatre, and I have to say, if I were just judging a book by its cover, I would definitely be picking up a set of these speakers. I just love how they look. Now, they're also easy to set up and use, and their multiple connection options do give you options to expand your home theatre and grow into the future. Overall, I was really happy with the Monitor Home Theatre speakers that I tried out. The subwoofer and the two different sizes of speakers would cover most needs for most average consumers, I think. If you want to read more about them, head over to blog.bestbuy.ca where we've got a full write-up with a lot more detail than we can give you in a short video review. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please hit that like button and consider subscribing since it does help us keep making more videos that we hope you all can watch and enjoy. I'm Erin. You can find me on Twitter or Instagram until the next video. I'm at Erin L Y Y C.